Hello and welcome to the Cyber Den, your weekly dose of tech and games. We've got a new contender for the Cyber Quiz. Please welcome game designer and artist for the upcoming fan made Time Splitters sequel, Time Splitters Rewind, Sean Damienade Spencer. Thanks for coming, mate. Hiya. So, Sean, Time Splitters. What's this game all about? Why is this first-person shooter so great? And why has it got such a big cult following these days? That is a, that is a meaty question. And uh, I don't know where to begin with this one, because it's got, despite not having a story originally, it's got a great story, it's got great characters, and the gameplay is what brings it all together. And the more fun part of the game, essentially, is the multiplayer. And that's really where the game just hits it out of the park. And it's to be expected with the developers that the game's coming from, you know. So if you remember Goldeneye, if you remember Perfect Dark, those are super memorable games. And this is no exception, so. Not to mention the awesome content it has in terms of, for example, weapons from the past and the future. So, yeah. Like uh, an army of bears with flamethrowers, if you feel like it, you know, or, I don't know, some homicidal monkey and... A gingerbread man? Waving chain guns around and swinging bats at each other. I mean, come on, what's I, not to like? And then there's Hans. I mean, everybody's favorite. Of course. My personal favorite. <laughs> of course, Hans, the seven-foot-tall weirdo wearing pants, um, <laughs> a bra sticking out, and uh, a very, very big head. Who could mm. forget that guy? I mean, you don't see him <laughs> wandering around in games these days, unfortunately. So, well, at first I was thinking, yeah, let's talk about Time Splitters and let's do a quiz on that. Then I thought, nah, nah, let's replace it with uh, something like, say, the Call of Duty series. Beca oh, boy. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I I've got a flashing light here. Uh-oh. It looks like it's from my good friend, uh, Duke Nukem. That's right. It's me, Duke Nukem. Um, <laughs> hello, Duke. Um, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? Call of Duty? Really? Hmm, he does make a very good point. Let's stick with time splitters, I think. I'd rather, yeah. Probably wisest. So, this quiz is all to do with the time splitter series. Would you say you're quite knowledgeable about it? I'd say so, yeah. That's good to hear. Good to hear. I so, hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, we've got ten questions right here, so good luck. Here we go. Question one. What year was the first Time Splitters game released? Hmm. I want to say 2001, only because I've never... The first one I played was Future Perfect, so... Is that your final answer? Yeah. I'm afraid that's incorrect. In the year 2000. Oh. If you said, could I have a hint, I would have at least given you a three-choice uh, answer, because I'm nice, but you didn't ask, so... Uh. Oh, yeah. Nevertheless, don't worry, you still got a chance. Question two. In Time Splitters 2, two challenges required players to smash all the panes of glass in a Siberian base within a time limit. The first challenge had grenades, but in the second challenge, it was replaced with a totally different weapon. What was bricks. it? One more time? It was bricks, right? Precisely, it was bricks. Nice one. And funny thing to mention about that, the Chinese chef that's breaking all the glass with bricks, um, that comes back into play in the remade version of the map in Future Perfect, where that chef is also breaking things. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It was a very fun challenge, that. Okay, then. Question three. Which of these cheats was first introduced in Time Splitter's Future Perfect? Uh, or for those who do not know, that's the third game in the series. Was it human gun sounds, slow motion deaths, or fat characters? Gonna go with human gun sounds. That is correct. It was human gun sounds. That was a very Yay. fun one there. Just <laughs> grabbing all the... Every uh, game should have that. Call of Duty would have been just miles better if they just had human gun sounds. Precisely. Who wouldn't love grabbing a rocket launcher and hearing just a pew, pew sound? My 360 no scope. Pew you. <laughs> okay then. Question four. True or false? Players who play an arcade custom mode, but do not contribute at all to team games, will be given the patronizing, most useless award at the end of the game. That's pretty true. 
Yes, it is true. <laughs> the the developers really wanted you to know when you sucked at the game, so... Yeah, and that goes for people who uh, go for team kills, too. Question 5. Which of these characters was not introduced in Time Splitters 2? Was it the Hunchback of Notre Dame, a snowman, a lawyer, or an Elvis Presley impersonator? I'm sorry, which one of these was not in introduced in Time Splitters 2? Yes. Elvis impersonator. The impersonator was actually introduced in the first game. He was one of my favorite characters. <laughs> but he, he wasn't included in the third game, which, uh, which made me sad. Question 6. In a challenge titled Cortez Can't Jump from the third game, the player must help the protagonist, Cortez, play a sport game by picking up objects from a distance with an upgraded temporal uplink. Which is like a, a little gadget for those who don't know where you can pick up stuff from a distance and throw them, etc. So anyway, what sport game was it exactly? It was like basketball. Basketball, pretty much picking up boxes and tossing them in hoops as he slowly goes down a very long lift shaft. Again, that was another very fun challenge. I really enjoyed that one. Question 7. True or false? Time Splitter's Future Perfect had two less game modes compared to the previous game. Hmm. I'd say that's false. I thought there were a couple extra added in ones, like the Monkey Assistant and, uh... Uh, was it Gladiator? There's a cut one, too. See, I'm working with that, and now it's like... I can't remember which ones are in the game still and which ones are not. You are correct, actually. It is false. It had three less modes. Sure. Those were Leech, where you had to shoot enemies to get health back. That, that was canned because they had a gun that did it in the third game. <laughs> then there was Regeneration, because uh, maybe the developers thought it was too Call of Duty-ish and decided to give it the can. Who knows? Probably. And Flame Tag, which is pretty much a game of TIG, or TAG if you're American, um, where you're just setting people on fire by running into them. Those three were all removed, and the other games left over were giving a more vigorous polish for the third game. Question 8. The challenge mode in Time Splitters offered challenges in batches of three. How many challenges are there on the whole in that game? Are there 18, 20, 27, or 36 challenges? For which game? The first Time Splitters game. The first one. Could I hear the answers one more time? Okay. Are there 18, 20, 27, or 36 challenges? If you need a hint, just give me a shout. I'd like a hint, please. Okay. There aren't 18 challenges. Ah, I was going to say 18. <laughs> well, you're lucky, aren't you? It's either 20, 27, or 36. I'm going to go for 20, then. Ooh, I'm afraid that's incorrect. No. Well, for one thing, it challenges in batches of three, and 20 divided by three... Yeah. Well, I failed math, so <laughs> there's that. The answer is actually 27. Well, there are nine stages with three challenges in each. So they all have a similar sort of theme, you see. For example, smashing glass, knocking people's heads off, etc. Nevertheless, but don't worry, don't fret. You've still got a pretty good uh, score so far. Let's see if you can keep it up, though. Question 9. The monkey is the iconic mascot of the Time Splitter series. There are four monkey characters in the third game, but who are they? Name them, excluding the normal monkey. So we got the robot chimp, or cyborg chimp, basically Robocop, uh, ninja, the zombie, and then the one with the makeup on it. I can't remember where that came from. That is correct. I'll accept the first three because, you know, <laughs> because <laughs> there was indeed a robot, well, a robot, uh, Robocop chimp, a zombie chimp, and a ninja monkey, which are all awesome. And um, <laughs> there was also supposed to be a girl monkey, but uh, that was cut. That's DLC. <laughs> Nevertheless, you got that one correct. Well done. Final question now. So, thinking caps on. Question 10. An iconic British movie features one of the protagonists playing Time Splitters 2. What movie was it? This one. Shaun of the Dead. Oh, of course it was Shaun of the Dead. Brilliant movie that was. How's that for a slice of fried uh. gold? 
Looking at your score, well, let me just say, congratulations, you've just got yourself an 8 out of 10. That is a very good score. Well done. Yay, I got a B. Woo! So, Sean, I guess it's over to you then. As your reward, you can plug whatever you want. If you want to plug uh, your YouTube channel, you want to plug Time Splitters uh, Rewind, go ahead, the floor is yours. Well, since I am one of the level designers, you can come back to my channel and check out all the news updates I do. I do a news update about once a week every Saturday, a little bit later if need be. You can find me at Damianade at YouTube.com. Just type it in the search bar and you should be able to find me. Or you can go over to our site, TimeSplittersRewind.com, and get all the latest news and updates, which you can also find on our Facebook, TimeSplittersRewind at Facebook. We don't have a Twitter, still. Sean, thank you so much for coming to the Cyberden. No problemo. And I would also like to thank my dear listeners out there for once again tuning into the Cyber Quiz right here on the Cyber Den, your weekly dose of tech and games. See you later, Sean, and let me just say, it's time to split. <laughs>